Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 15th of 2019, well, it is titled The Galaxy Above. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see the horizon out there and actually the photographer standing there staring up at the beautiful marvels of the sky. And we see a number of different things here in this beautiful image. The brightest object that we see off to the right hand side is actually the planet Jupiter. And this is the largest planet in our solar system and shines very bright. And we can see that very easily one of the easy to see objects in the nighttime sky. Just below that and a little bit to the left is the orange star Antares a very large star and a uh, one of the brightest stars in the constellation of Scorpius the scorpion. So we can see that there it's very close to our Milky Way which of course is up above and stretching diagonally across here from the left hand side up towards the very upper right corner. And um, our Milky Way is of course our spiral galaxy as we see it from inside and we can see a number of things there including the dark dust clouds that are scattered out throughout it and those are denser areas with excess of dust and material that blocks out the light from behind us and makes it very difficult to really see anything within our Milky Way. We're looking not all that far from the central portions of our galaxy, which would otherwise be the brightest thing in the sky. But because our galaxy being a spiral has so much dust, we can't see all through all of that. And it makes the center of our galaxy essentially invisible to someone looking an optical regular optical visible light. Now within the galaxy we see a couple of other things and that includes some red emission nebulae and those are uh, caused when hot stars excite material primarily hydrogen gas around it and cause it to glow. So that glow orange glow reddish orange glow is caused by hydrogen gas that has been excited by ultraviolet radiation from young stars around it. And we also see within our galaxy some of those very young stars we can see some very hot blue stars here. Blue stars are among the hottest at reaching temperatures sometimes up to the tens of thousands of degrees 10,000 20,000 30,000 degrees as compared to the 6,000 degrees of our own sun. So extremely hot and massive stars and they don't live a very long time. So the fact that we see them within our galaxy means that our galaxy is still forming stars today. Otherwise these stars which may only live a few million years would long since be gone had our galaxy formed stars only long ago. So it differentiates our type of galaxy as a spiral from other types of galaxies which have not had recent star formation. There are galaxies that do not have any blue stars and therefore formed stars only long ago. Our galaxy on the other hand is still forming stars today in part because of the cold uh, gas and dust that we see and some of that in our image today. So that was our picture of the day for October the 15th of 2019. It was titled The Galaxy Above. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Double Start. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.